Afid again, and hello, it's Fo, and welcome to Ted Minker's Collection Adventure. So we're going to do a playthrough. We've set up our character already. He's a crust punk looking guy. We're going to give them the curator because he wants to collect everything. The perfectionist and freegan, which is as close to being a minker as you can get. So we'll randomize the name so he gets Ted. And we'll go through the surnames, but uh, nothing's going to be better than minker. So we're going to pop that in. The idea is he's going to start as a hobo with nothing at all. He's going to master all the skills, complete all the aspirations, and complete all the collections. We have to buy a lot to start off with. So we're going to Oasis Springs in the spring. That way he's got plenty of time to acquire some stuff and earn the actual roof over his head before winter comes along. So we're going to have a little rake in the bins to start off. This is going to be the way of things. Just going to rake for free things. We're going to go to the park. This is going to be our main location for the first episode. We're going to switch out this uh, singular bin for one of the dumpsters. That's going to save us having to go to the eco neighborhood every time we want to go raking into the, the dumpsters. And we can just dumpster dive to find extra things. We won't have anything to start off with. But with people coming and going, it should fill up regularly. There's a guitar in this uh, little lounge at the back. We're going to get our guitar skill up. We're going to cheat away our money, so we actually start from actually nothing before we get to our first tip. So we've got our first uh, couple of simoleons from tips. That's going to get us on the road to fame. So we've got our first level going. We've got plenty of these uh, little dig sites that we can rake around for precious metals and stones and crystals. So we're going to go around and look for things. We can search for frogs and we can catch fish. And get some plants as well. So we're just going to send him round to find all the things he can find in the park. And time capsules. They again contain some collectibles. around find new things. The first level of the curator aspiration wants us to find uh, various different collectibles. So we'll just go around and uh, look for some. We have a public bathroom here where we can use the toilet and we can get our hygiene level up by going for a wash. I'll leave him for two seconds and he starts chatting up this lady. Let's see if he's got any uh, Opa. cool chat of lines. Was not. Doesn't sound very smooth. But she's obviously entertained. So we're finding more stuff. Obviously we can fill our social need by speaking to people. Hunger is going to depend on if people cook things and leave them out on the uh, benches. That often happens in these parks. People cook a lot of things and then leave some and we can nip over and get some free food. When it comes to our energy need, we can fall asleep on one of these benches. Won't be great for sleeping on, but it's better than nothing. So we found our first semi-capsule. These uh, Dumpsters offer seemingly random things. Hopefully over time we can get enough to furnish a whole house with. That's the plan anyway. That's what I like about it, the randomness. Now I'm trying to buy things from the, the store as it were. We 
can do some upcycling. Find some rubbish and then if it's too badly gone we can repair it. Got a bicycle now. It's going to be good for helping us with our fun need. So we managed to get stage one of our curator aspiration done by just finding collectibles. And when we complete a, an aspiration fully, we can buy something handy for the for the house. It doesn't raise a skill. And when we can complete a skill, I think we'll be allowed to then buy a skill item. So we've made it to the end of the day. Thankfully people did cook food and leave some. So we can just help ourselves. Get our hunger level up. We don't get much choice, we're just gonna have to eat whatever is made for us. He seems to be enjoying this. Mmm, nice. Classy. So we're gonna go for a nap on the bench. Say it's not going to be comfortable, but it'll have to do for now. Not only can we use the bathrooms for the toilet and the washing facilities, we can also use the mirror to either practice uh, our acting or to sort of build up our confidence and raise our charisma by chatting ourselves up in the mirror, essentially. So we made a decent start. I'm getting some of these skills started. A couple of them leveled up. We'll try and get some more collectibles. get some uh, frogs and we can breed the frogs together once we have a few just trying out his bike fantastic it's the first time I've seen the, the bike in use not sure about taking it all the way into the bathroom but hey that gives him some fitness skill so riding the bike around will make him fitter and he finds it fun, so it's a two for one. You can also use their mobile phone to chat to people when there's no one in the park. So we should be fine, just surviving as the crazy hobo who lives in the park. Stargazing or cloud gazing. It's the best way to make friends with someone. Raises your relationship level the fastest. Obviously it helps with our social need. Looks quite relaxing. Shame it doesn't fill our energy bar as we are lying down. The uncomfortable bench raises it pretty slowly. Beggars can't be choosers. There's still food left out by people. We've got to munch all that before it goes bad. But generally, we're managing to keep our needs well met. And some chairs. In theory, we could maybe sleep on one of those. Might be slightly more comfortable than the wooden bench, but wait till we get back to the lot. We can set out all the things that we found out the dumpster. See which ones uh, need to be repaired. Which ones we can just pop down. With their lot having nothing on it. Hopefully that means that when we do get the bill, it's going to be relatively small. We've got a couple of hundred simoleons, but we can't afford a big bill for a lot rent. It factors in the objects you've got there, so if we have no objects there, hopefully it's going to be small. Just 
keep dumpster diving and then go in and washing our hands and brushing our teeth. Dumpster diving takes down your hygiene level pretty quickly. But with the uh, bathrooms next door, just fine to sort that out immediately. Once the food's gone bad, we can throw it away. And we can rummage in the bin. Hopefully get something better back out of it. Someone's also left a book on the bench next to the food, so we can entertain ourselves with that. Put it into our inventory. Same with this piles of rubbish generated by rummaging. We can add them to the dumpster when it's empty, so we can do some more diving. Try and breed a frog. We didn't get a new one, but I suppose we can sell the spare one. That'll be a good way of getting a little bit of money every time we can uh, breed a frog. Just going over and play chess, I'm acquiring the logic skill, but I'm sure riding our bike around is going to be more fun. He's getting his fitness level up purpose. It looks like a lot of fun as well. These dig spots will respawn after a time. So we can dig up more things. Find treasure maps that let you dig for treasure as well. I'm just digging for stones. Don't think it makes much of a difference. Ways of getting collectibles. Also got these fossils that we can break open. Just need to get a few more crystals. We'll complete level two of the curator aspiration. And we keep getting the same frogs, so have to keep uh, diving for more. There is a system that if you breed certain frogs together you'll get certain other frogs. There is some sort of uh, math to it, but uh, I'm not sure what it is. not sure about the system, so we just need a wider range of frogs to breed them together should be able to start uh, breeding new ones. Nice to level up our fitness skill again. We'll sell off a couple of duplicate uh, collectibles. It's helping us get our simoleon level up. We've used the sinks in the bathroom so much that one of them has sprung a leak. That's just an opportunity to acquire the handiness skill will help us uh, upgrade our appliances. Once we get our things all set out on the lot at home. And there's no food left by people on the benches. We can raid the dumpster for food. Got ourselves a tasty omelette. Mmm, dumpster omelette. Lovely. Use our phone again to chat to one of the people that we've made friends with. I'll get our social need up. We've spoken to a few people now in the park, so our friend list is uh, getting bigger, as it were. Yeah, we're finding a nice range of things from the dumpster. change our aspiration to the purveyor of potions and cycle our way to the magical realm. The idea is that we're going to go and uh, become a spellcaster. That's going to be the easiest way for us to repair our damaged items that we get out of the dumpster.
to speak to these guys with the icons above their head. They're the sages. They can teach us different kinds of spells. We're going to get given a mission to go around and collect magical moats, these glowing orbs. Once we've gone around and collected them all, then we can return back to the sage and he'll grant us the ability to become a spellcaster. Uh, our needs bar has been increased. Now I've got this orb up in the top in the center. And that represents our magical charge, essentially creating a cooldown period for using our spell casting abilities. It's the TV season premiere, but we're nowhere near a TV, so I don't think we're going to be able to do that do have the opportunity to do some interactions related to the premiere, like singing about it. That's going to help us acquire the singing skill. So the better our friendships with the sages, the more of their wisdoms and their spells they'll be willing to share. So we'll keep uh, chatting to them and learning new things. Completed the first stage of our first magical aspiration. Have a look at our spell book. The book contains all the spells that we've learned. It shows us which ones we've still got to go. As I say, once we've got everything we can out of the first stage, we can go and find another. And go and befriend them a little bit. Reached charisma level three from all our smooth talking. We can level up our spellcaster skill by doing, uh, obviously, casting spells, doing magical interactions. Thankfully, there's benches here that we can nap on. There's also a little kitchen area with a fridge for when we get hungry got the potion of plentiful needs and that can restore all our needs all at once but I uh, kind of want to save that until we get more ingredients that we can make more or we can learn the spell to duplicate items and we can just duplicate the potions so we've got plenty spare. We'll go to check out the other areas in the magical neighborhood. This is like a market. We can get potion ingredients here if we want to. This one of the stalls sells crystals, and brooms and wands and things. We can get plenty of magical artifacts there. There's also another area where we can harvest some magic related uh, plants. We find a new frog. We've got the gardening skill from picking plants. We've got a few more frogs to breed from. Got a few things for planting in our garden back home when we get there. Now that we're confident we'll be able to replace it, we're going to drink a potion of the plentiful needs. I think that one's fairly easy. I think it's just an apple we need to make a new potion feel too bad about that. We should be able to get plenty of them. Right, we've had a look around. We know things are easy to get. I think it's alright to buy stuff from the stalls and the vending machines etc. I think that's fine within our rules that I've set up. So we're getting there. Building our relationships with the sages. We're learning new spells and potions. Getting Spellcaster XP. Bills have come through. 
Thankfully it's only 195 simoleons and we can pay using our phone so we don't need to go all the way back to the mailbox on our lot and we'll find a computer to use. So we're getting there. We've Spell book and see what we've got. Now that we've learned Reperio, that's the main thing that we want to get. So we can repair our broken furniture. Yeah, it's just an apple we need for the potion of plentiful needs. That's going to be easy to come by. So we'll come back next time and continue chatting up the sages. Learn a few more spells, get a few more potions. Until then, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.